This is the review of Handwire Atlantic 3 liter instant water geyser. I bought this from Flipkart for a price of Rs. 2300. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Inside you can find the heater itself. Let's open it. And we are Atlantic switch on joy. Let's see what's on the return on the box. The dimensions are clearly mentioned on the sides of the box. Here are the specifications. It's a 3 liter, 3000 watt water heater. Vertical installation. And here is the price and manufacturing date. It's made on January 2017. On the other side, it's mentioned as Intelli 5. 5 intelligent reasons for advanced thermal comfort. Let's open the box. The packing is actually good. The box doesn't shake and the heater is fixed appropriately inside the box. <laughs> inside you can find the heater and an user manual. The last page of the user manual has the warranty information. Usually products bought online don't have filled in warranty information. But that, that doesn't matter. You can produce the Flipkart bill for warranty. And here is the heater. Here is the bottom part of the heater. There are two light indicators, an outlet pipe for Letting out leaked, leaked water. Yeah. The blue one is the inlet and the red one is the outlet. And there is a reset button. The heater comes with four mounting holes. And the holes are actually very small. You have to see to it while fixing the screws. The heater comes with a loose wire, you have to buy the plug outside. It's a 10 amp plug actually. Here are the dimensions that are mentioned on the heater itself. And here are the models that is supported. These are the accessories that are needed for installation of the heater. 10 amp plug some 4 screws I already installed a screw so there are just 3 now let's attach the plug to the water heater This is a 3000 watt water heater, so the connections to the plug must be solid. It should not be 
there should not be any provision for sparks actually removing the pins from the plug and then fixing it to the wires seems to be a lot easier than fixing the wires when the screws are inside the plug it's, it seems to be a lot easier when we remove the pins <laughs> that's it now the plug is ready let's measure the dimensions of the hole the distance between these two holes comes to around 11 centimeter actually and the length comes to around 22.5 these dimensions are very useful when you are drilling the hole in the wall the drill should be made accurately a little bit also a little bit of deviation also won't allow the heater to be installed here I have installed the heater and I have already bought the pipes for my older heater so I can reuse them I am yeah I have screwed the pipes and you should let the water flow for about a minute for at least a minute the heater should be filled with water before switching it on this is a very important thing if you switch on the heater without filling it with water even warranty is wide and the heater goes to hell okay it's about a minute and water is still running through the heater it's not switched on yet even if some air is locked force the water out now I have switched on the heater you can see both the lights are glowing and the water is still flowing now I have switched off the water and you can see the both lights are still glowing which means that the heater is heating up the water the red light indicates the power and the orange light indicates heating once it has attained the desired temperature, the orange light cuts off. You can see the orange light going off. This is called thermal cutoff. Yes, it's gone. Now I have opened the tap and the water is already hot. If you can look closely if you look very closely you can even see the smoke I try to capture it as good as possible you can see the smoke coming out of the water yeah okay that's it guys this is the installation of the heater thank you